Hey, what's going on everyone? Naka here. I hope you all having a wonderful day today so far, and I normally would say I know I am, but unfortunately today, I'm not having the best of days. As you guys can read in the title up there, I got banned. And no, it's not a Call of Duty ban. I actually wish it was a Call of Duty ban. I would just make a new account. I mean, it would suck, but I'd have to like level up my guns and all that. I'd have to get an unlock all or something. You know the deal, but it's actually way worse. It's not a kick or a Twitch ban either, which would be shitty, don't get me wrong, but like if I got banned on one, I could always just stream on the other, so it's not that bad really but the thing I got banned on is probably the second worst thing I can get banned on and that is Twitter or I should say X now because I'm sure you guys all know Elon Musk changed the name after Twitter's been around for like almost 20 years now as Twitter but no now it's X but yeah I think the only thing worse than a Twitter ban for a creator at least is a YouTube ban because obviously I'm creating on YouTube but yeah Twitter being gone is a huge hit for me and I know people are gonna say it's just a Twitter account and you're right it is just a Twitter account I already have another one going I'm gonna talk about that in a minute but I don't know I've been building this Twitter account for like 12 years now I made it in July 2011 no, May 2011, literally over 12 years ago. I had made so many connections on that Twitter, had so many followers from like 10 years ago and stuff, people I don't even talk to anymore. I don't know, it's just like, it was a nice thing to have. I had so many tweets from back in the day I like to look back on too, like 2012, 2015, it was like a time capsule, you know? Not only that, but I used it to make so many connections inside the community as well. Like, think of all the videos you guys have seen on this channel that weren't edited by me, but by someone else. Those are probably all people I met through COD Twitter, through using that Twitter account, through my following, you know what I mean? I don't even really care about the number of followers itself, even though it is annoying. I did just hit 9,000 followers yesterday, the day I got suspended, which is so annoying, but whatever. I never ended up making it to five digits. I never got 10k on Twitter, but maybe on the new account I'm using now someday. I don't know. We'll have to see. Another thing that's a little shitty, it obviously doesn't really matter as much, but I had some people that I looked up to in the community that I had some form of interaction with in the past like 10 years that I had ended up getting a follow from. Like Face Temper followed me. Now I don't get the Face Temper follow. Like, oh, that's a little bit annoying, but oh well. What are you going to do? But yo, Tommy, if you see this and you want to follow your boy back, um, I'm going to be dropping my new Twitter in the description below. And I've already tried appealing the suspension like eight times, and every time I just get denied unfortunately so i do not think i'm getting my twitter back i just gotta accept it so instead of me ranting for the rest of the video about how unfortunate it is i am just gonna accept it and now i'm gonna tell you guys the story of how i actually got suspended which is a little bit like funny not really funny it's kind of fucked up honestly but if you guys have been on call of duty twitter for pretty much any length of time you know it gets pretty toxic on there but especially like way back in the day which is how long i've had my twitter like i've seen some crazy shit on call of duty twitter i'm sure you guys all have too i'm sure you guys have even seen the memes if you weren't around back then, like accounts of reposting it. I'm sure you guys have all seen the video from back in the day of Keemstar reading out all the tweets from the Call of Duty community, like all the old era and SOAR members and stuff, and it was just a really different time in the COD community and just Twitter in general. The whole world, really. Obviously, times have changed, but Keemstar is still around, and he actually owns a page called Drama Alert. I'm sure you guys all remember Drama Alert. It was like a COD thing back in the day, but it's gone like huge now. Now it's like a, a news channel, basically. Anyways, he mainly follows like YouTube and streamer drama and all that, and there was a guy, I've heard of his name before, like I've never even watched his videos. I don't know who he associates with. I don't know anything like that. His name is John Zerka. He's not the Zerka from the Call of Duty community back in the day that was like one of the first ever trick shotters making the kill cam montages. That guy, the British dude, he was a beast. But no, this guy's a different, I think he's a different guy. If he's the same guy, that would be crazy. But John Zerka. And from what I've seen on Twitter, he's extremely controversial. People have been comparing him to like Andrew Tate and stuff. I don't even know. Like I don't get into all that drama, but yeah, like he's really controversial. All right, I kind of lost myself in my story. So I'm gonna take a step back real quick. Basically when Elon Musk bought Twitter and he made it X and all that, he made it a little bit different. And he actually added like, I think there was some type of monetization before, but he added monetization for like basically small creators. Originally, you could get your Twitter or X account monetized, which would get you ads under your tweets if you got 15 million impressions in three months, I think it was. Shit, my mouth is getting dry. I don't do long commentaries like this, which I'll get into that in a second, but let me take a sip of my G Fuel real quick. Oh, let me, let me turn it, let me turn it. G Fuel, there we go. Use code NECA at checkout for 20% off all G Fuel purchases, by the way. Alright, but back to what I was saying. Elon Musk, after that, he actually ended up dropping it from 15 million impressions in three months to 5 million, which is, like, way easier. He cut in a third, like, you know what I mean? And I saw on the timeline that people were posting that they were actually getting pretty good payouts from, like, the ads under their tweets. Like, they were getting a few hundred dollars off, not that many impressions, like, a few million. I was like, okay. But I wouldn't even see their tweets on my timeline, and that's when I looked into it and found out it was all from replies on tweets. Like, you could literally just reply under a tweet 
tweet. And if that tweet got a bunch of impressions and then people like saw your reply under the tweet, even if they didn't interact with it, it would get the impressions from that tweet too. And it would count towards you getting monetized and count towards you getting money. It was like a infinite money cheat code, not infinite. You know what I mean? It's basically like an easy money cheat code from replying to tweets. Instead of just scrolling on your timeline, you just got to reply instead of just looking at them and laughing at them, which I always was doing anyway. I'm low key a little bit of a Twitter addict, but we don't got to talk about that. I mean, I'm making this whole video, so it's kind of obvious enough that I am, but chill out, chill out. Anyways, you can only get this monetization feature if you were subscribed to Twitter blue and I wasn't, I didn't have the blue check mark. I didn't care about being verified, but I ended up caving and just doing it $8 a month. I was like, whatever i can make a few hundred possibly i'll try it out for the month of august so i got it on august 1st and i'm looking right now it is august 23rd so literally three weeks ago and this is where the story becomes a roller coaster and it takes a quick up and then a sharp down right after a straight nose dive down actually i like to think i'm pretty good at social media i'm pretty good at managing an account posting the right things whether it's like instagram and tiktok and stuff like that i'm okay with but twitter and youtube i like to think i have those ones pretty much down and if you follow me on twitter which i hope you guys did i know a lot of you guys did you probably hated seeing me on your timeline so you probably know i did good because i was everywhere i can still see my stats and in the past three weeks i actually ended up getting 33.6 million impressions which is like pretty absurd considering you only needed 5 million to get monetized and i think i had like 1 million in the past three months i was like you know what i'll give it a go and i went crazy with the replies and got to 33 million but there's a reason that number is not going up anymore it's the reason the whole point of this whole video actually and i got suspended i got banned i'm done for i actually got suspended overnight at like three in the morning i woke up at like six in the morning opened my phone and i noticed i had no notifications and i was like okay that's a little bit weird because my phone had been going crazy from all the replies and stuff from or all the likes and stuff under my replies like a lot of them were going crazy likewise like 50,000 likes and stuff not that that matters they were just replies under like viral tweets but like I was going viral myself I can't even lie. like a good amount so for me to have no notifications it was a little bit weird then I clicked my page I saw zero following zero followers account suspended I was like fuck now like I said I think I'm pretty good at social media so I was like okay how did I let this happen it must have been a mistake it must have been like mass reported I don't get it how did it happen and then I checked my email and it kind of all made sense like I saw the reason I got suspended but I still think it is pretty ridiculous I'm gonna tell you guys now you can make your own judgment on it I don't even know if I should be saying all this I don't even know if I can include the pictures or videos I probably can't but if you go to my Twitter my new Twitter which will be linked in the description you'll be able to see it in my pinned tweet um, but I'm gonna talk about it. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for talking about it. If the video does, oh well, who cares? I got more trick shotting videos on the way. This is just like a filler video just to let you guys know what's going on, but I hope it doesn't. Oh, I need to fix my chain. I just realized that. Yeah, I might have ADHD. I cannot sit still and do a long commentary like this if you guys can't tell. And now the story is officially looped all the way back to where it was at before when I was talking about Keemstar and how he's still around doing Drama Alert because I saw that I got suspended from a tweet at Drama Alert, which I, like I said, I thought it was pretty good at Twitter. Drama Alert was one of the main accounts I would always reply to. I'd get a bunch of interactions. Them and Dexerto. Dexerto went crazy. Dexerto method was hit. I just put you guys on, by the way. I would tap into that method. I'm just saying. And Drama Alert, they were reporting on YouTubers and they were reporting on Twitch streamers and they reported on that John Zerka guy that I mentioned before. It's looping all the way back to him. And it was basically a clip of him. I don't know if he was streaming on YouTube or I don't know what he streams on. I don't know if it was from a video, but he was on that app Monkey, which is like, I think it's a video sharing app. I saw my boy Blasian. Shout out to Blasian. I've seen him stream before, I think. But it's like, um, like Omegle kind of, I think. And you know what? I'm going to say this in words that our community would understand, the Call of Duty community. And if you don't understand what I'm saying at all, if you're like, okay, what is he talking about? I don't get it. One, you should probably watch the Drama Alert YouTube video on the situation. But two, just go to my Twitter, my new Twitter, linked in the description below and read my pinned tweet. It completely explains everything. Basically, this guy, John Zerka, had a girl who he claimed in the video was 16. Um, I've read in says she's 20 i don't know if she's 16 20 i don't even like know about this situation i was just replying under a bunch of tweets trying to get my impressions up trying to get the notifications and stuff from it and um i saw a video of him basically admitting to being a kiwis with a 16 year old girl if you guys are in the cod community you should know what that means but he literally said like word for word like he said disgusting stuff you'll you guys can see it in the drama alert video maybe you know what, i'll link that in the description too so you guys can see the video it's 
fucked up, honestly. But yeah, I was definitely impression farming, but I replied to that tweet, and even though I was impression farming, I definitely meant it. I thought it was true. I said, nah, this is disgusting, because it is. Like, that's actually fucking disgusting. You know, like, what? And also in that tweet, with the text that said, nah, this is disgusting, I attached a picture, and the picture was literally just a meme that I have seen go viral on Twitter a bunch. Literally, since I got suspended today, I've seen it again on Twitter today. I posted by another page, like 100k views and a thousand likes. Same meme that I got suspended for. Actual bullshit. I can't lie. The meme is just a WikiHow picture of how to load a shotgun. Like, if you guys look up WikiHow, how to load a shotgun, you guys can see the same picture. It's literally just a guy putting two shells in a double barrel shotgun. Not even a guy, by the way, a cartoon. Like, literally a drawing of a hand inserting two cartoon shells into a cartoon shotgun, which, I mean, we're like, I'm posting Call of Duty clips on Twitter. Like, I own a call of duty twitter it's a cartoon shotgun like this is literally like my call of duty clips are more like violent than that you know what i mean and there was text on the meme as well and it said may god forgive you but i won't which is a little suggestive i guess i, I suppose but i obviously did not mean it like that it's a meme that i've seen on twitter a bunch but it's yeah it's basically implying i mean use your head I don't know. You can see what it's implying. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that on YouTube. Suggestive themes or whatever, getting demonetized. But it basically implies that I do not support the Kiwis movement. I don't support anyone who does that shit. You know what I mean? That's all I was trying to say with it. And I was kind of impression farming at the same time. And it kind of came back to bite me in the ass. I know people are sick of seeing me on the timeline impression farming. And hey, I guess I got what I deserved. If you guys were sick of it seeing me, if you guys had me muted, if you guys had me blocked, Loki, yo, you guys kind of won, but hey, I don't really care. I mean, I'm just on a new account. I do care that I lost my account, but like, I don't know. What are you going to do about it? It's Twitter after all. I guess I can just grow from here. As of right now, I kind of know what I'm doing, but not totally. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've led a team called Urban Crew or UEC, and we're not really active anymore. Unfortunately, around the time the new Modern Warfare 2, like 2022 came out, we kind of stopped uploading on our channel. We've had like one video the past year. And it was a team I've been leading since 2014, so we definitely ran our course. I had a great time leading it with all the homies. Um, I'm going to probably release a statement on Twitter about like ending UC officially but in the meantime that Twitter already had 2,000 followers that all knew about trick shotting all supported like my trick shotting team so I have taken over that Twitter for now the urban crew Twitter will be mine so yeah right now the Twitter app that I'm using is at the urban crew but even by the time this video comes out that might change I have the at Matt NECA saved so that it's like the same as some of my other socials I have Matt NECA on some stuff and then I have NECA. Oh yeah, that's the worst part. I literally have the OG Twitter ad, NECA. Like, I don't have my OG Twitter ad anymore, which is so shitty. But whatever, I guess I have Matt NECA now. I had it, like, saved on another account. So now I'm going to put that Twitter username on my Urban Crew one when it lets me. But for now, I'm going to be using at the Urban Crew as my Twitter handle. So make sure to go drop that a follow. Very top of the description, I'm going to be dropping a link. Please make sure to go drop it a follow like I just said. I know I'm repeating myself, but hey, I'm trying to get that Twitter following back up, man. I almost had 10K and now I'm back down to 2K, which unfortunate, but at least it's not zero, right? Also, word on the street, I don't know, I heard it through the grapevine, I don't know how true it is, but I heard that if you go follow me on Twitter tomorrow, that there might be an exclusive Twitter giveaway for some G Fuel, because as you guys can see, I mean, I got a bunch, I need to get rid of some new tubs, so, I mean, if you want to go drop me a follow on Twitter, hey, not as many people are going to see it, I lost some followers, so you might have a better chance of winning, go run it up. But yeah, that's the story of how I lost my Twitter account, I'm officially banned from Twitter on the OG at NECA account. And I know that you can appeal it, but unfortunately, I've already appealed it like eight times, I've said everything that I can possibly even think to say. I mean, I'm going to keep appealing it. I really do want that Twitter account back, but I've said everything. Like, I literally have apologized in it. Um, I've said that I've read the rules and I understand where I broke them and I'll completely, like, change my, you know what I mean? I'll make sure I never do it again. I've even tried bending specific rules where it says, like, sometimes threats against certain people are allowed because of certain things they've done or who they are. And I was just like, look, look at the things he said. Like, this is why I said this against him, but I don't know. They weren't having it. And I really do want to be more specific in my YouTube video because they literally said I was like threatening him and threatening his life and that's not what was happening at all it was literally a meme but like I said pin tweet top link in the description you guys will see exactly why I got banned and you'll probably be like wow that's actually ridiculous I don't know who at Twitter is like checking the um appeals I don't know if it's a bot or a human but if it's a human I can't believe that I've been denied like eight times I gotta keep trying other days maybe when other employees are working or something because like 
there's no way a human can see that and be like, oh yeah, he was threatening his life. Like he wants him gone off the face of this era. No, no, I don't. It was a Twitter meme, but he is fucked up for what he did. Like I don't fuck with dude at all. What are you going to do, man? I'm sorry if this video was all over the place, guys. It was supposed to be just like a little quick update video, letting you guys know to follow my new Twitter. I don't know. I've been rambling a little bit. I'm a little bummed that I lost my Twitter. What can I say? And I'm not going to do long commentary videos like this. Like I've been literally drinking my G Fuel the whole time to stay hydrated. Code Necker for 20% off, by the way. But honestly, I do have like a lot of stories, not only from the community, but real life that I think could be entertaining for videos that don't really like fit my video style with what I do now. But if you guys do like the commentary style videos, I have a bunch of like gameplays and stuff saved up. Like you guys are watching in the background right now, most likely. I actually have no idea what's going to be in the background yet. I'm literally just talking to my webcam. But hey, I'm down to do this more. So if you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure to drop a like and drop a comment. Let me know if it's actually something you guys would want to see more. And you know what? I'll become a story time YouTuber. You're looking at the next Luna right here, boys. Maybe I'll do some live cut comms and stuff like the good old days. You know what? Maybe MW3 will bring a whole different NECA out of me, a whole different YouTube or maybe it's a whole different future me just because they got banned on Twitter, you know? Things happen for a reason. But on that note, I'm going to stop ranting. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you did, I appreciate your time more than you know. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, everyone. Neko.